What is up, everybody? Welcome to AK Plays. I'm AK. Let's play. Only five kills left. Wait a minute. Who are you? Bruh. Guys, I just failed so hard. I tried to record this voiceover and it wasn't recording. <laughs> so here we go, attempt number two. Um, now that intro there was a little different. Usually I do some intense gameplay or something really funny. That one was more just instant karma. That guy went and emoted on me in skirmish, which I don't know who emotes in skirmish, but he did. And uh, the dead eye lays him out right away. And I thought that was pretty funny. Now, that's going to segue me into what I want to talk about today, which is a little different than usual. Usually, I talk about builds, build videos, analyzing gameplays, or talking about my gameplays, showing gameplays. And today, I'm going to be talking more about a somewhat controversial, but more serious topic, which is the Division's toxicity and the culture. Now, I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not qualified to psychoanalyze everyone in the DZ. But I'm just going to talk about what I see, why I think it happens, and just kind of what I think about it all. Now, I see the same stuff you guys see, which is YouTube videos every other day that say, Trash Talker gets destroyed, or this YouTuber exposed, this streamer exposed, this big clan exposed. And to me, I just don't get it. Guys, there's no context. Like, those people might be screwing around, they might be using all hexo builds they might be using tacticians you don't know and unless that person goes through the work of showing you what they're running what they're doing i don't think gameplay exposed stuff is very substantive at all now take a moment and look at what i have here this is a rank 5 manhunt and it was on the same server that we're doing now we came back to the spot and we went rogue again about 10 minutes later and it's on the same people we just dropped a fi rank 5 manhunt on now that'll be important in a little bit here so continue what i was saying I don't think that those exposed videos have any real substance, and I just don't understand it. I don't agree with it. I think it's dumb. Now, I also think that there are some purposes where you want exposed videos, and that would be if someone is bad in character, which if I see someone in the DZ who's a big name or a big clan and they're saying something horrible then yeah, that's probably exposed worthy, but that's not, I don't want to expose their gameplay because you don't know what they're doing. They might be screwing around, they might not have slept at all last night. Like, just exposing someone to say you're better than them is dumb to me. And I kind of think the same about trash talk in the DZ. Guys, we're playing a video game. We're here to have fun, here to relax. This is, for most people, this isn't some kind of intense moment when they get on the division. Now, our number one rule in my group usually is don't go to game chat, nothing good happens in game chat. And I stand by that. Game chat is a horrible place. I had one clip that was going to be in this video, but it was so bad that I said to myself, I can't let anybody else hear this, I don't even want to listen to it. And it was just terrible. It was somebody being absolutely atrociously racist and saying some just horribly controversial stuff that nobody wants to hear. And uh, yeah, it was just bad. But I'm going to stop talking so you can hear this next morning. Time. You are now entering a contaminated area. Bye, dead eye. Oh. Damn, bro, you just got sand guard. Stop it. Get some help. All right, now, I think that man said I got banged on. Never heard that before, but I guess this guy and that guy and this guy who's black bar and running to go heal, they didn't get banged on. I did. Okay. Why are you running, man? Look, you need to pee. You need to pee and get a kill. Stop loading that box, Pedro. That's a nice show, Topper. Now, that one I left the audio in because, well, I don't know. I think that one I'm going to call uh, Dark Zone Delusion Disorder. 
And that would be when people are talking trash and going nuts when they're losing horribly. Um, this happens more often than I would ever imagine, but it does. People freaking out, talking trash, and laughing, and going nuts, and acting like they're destroying you when, in reality, they're getting laid out themselves. Now, uh, <laughs> these people were a little, uh, a little crazy, but uh, we had some fun, and I'll let it play out, and then I'll talk more about it after. But I will continue what I was saying, that exposed stuff, I don't understand it, and I think it's dumb. Trash talking the DZ, I don't get it, we're here to have fun. And for the people that talk trash with a little bit of reason behind it, meaning that someone is multi-grouping on you and they're checkpoint camping you, you have a little bit of reason to be upset, but not enough that it really needs to happen. You truly could just fast travel to a different checkpoint. And if they're safe house camping you, you know, you get two safe house options even in the worst place of the DZ, and you can escape. It's not impossible. So I don't really think there's ever a time that you need to be trash talking. Does it happen? Do I sometimes trash talk? I try not to. I, I honestly try to be very positive in the DZ. I find that you uh, that saying is true. I think it's you attract more flies with sugar than vinegar or honey than vinegar. I don't know. You guys correct me in the comments if I got that wrong. But um, basically, which means if you're nice to people, you're going to uh, you're going to attract more and you're going to get more out of them than if you're mean to people. And honestly, I've seen that as true. Uh, even being nice to people in the DZ while they're trash talking. I've had one guy actually apologize to me, which that's radical in the division. That never happens. And uh, obviously, sometimes it makes people even more upset if you're nice to them, which, you know, if you're trash talking, that might be your goal. So try being nice. Try being overly nice. I, I sometimes compliment people's builds in the middle of a fight. And if they're angry, it'll make them even more bad. But, uh, you know, it's uh, and I think the reason for all of this, the reason there's trash talk, the reason people hate each other in the division, I think it's because people put so much time into their build. They put so much time into grinding for the gear, working hard, learning the nuance of PvP and the DZ, that when they fight and they lose, they feel like, sometimes they feel like you're cheating, but other times they feel like they just haven't done enough and they feel like, what has this person done that I haven't? They don't deserve a win. Damn, that's trying to work out for you, bro. What's up, you're working for Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, nah, that guy did not seem happy either. So, <laughs> continue what I was saying. Um, basically, if you beat someone and you lose, you feel like you've kind of, like you did all this work and you should still be winning. Why aren't you winning? And it frustrates people. Um, other times when they win and they talk trash, that's why a lot of good players, quote unquote, uh, will talk trash, is because they feel like they've done all this work and they've accomplished something by beating you and that they're better than you. And to assert their dominance, they're gonna talk trash on you and say you're garbage, you're trash. And uh, for me, that's just, that's gross. I don't understand that and I don't like it. And honestly, for the really good people and the confident players, they're not gonna talk trash on you, they're just gonna beat you and walk away <laughs> because they're good enough that they know they're good enough. Now, this next clip here is an NWA multi-group. Yeah, I know. That would have been a cool clickbait title, right? But uh, honestly, I don't believe in that. I think that that's stupid. Yes, this could be an exposed video, but I'm not going to do that because these guys, they weren't doubled up multi-grouping. There wasn't a bunch of rogues attacking us. They just had friends that were probably standing there and didn't want to kill them. And that happens. If you play in the division enough, you're going to make friends. I know. For such a hostile community, friendship sounds weird. But it happens. And when you make friends, they're not going to want to go rogue and fight against you. They're not going to want to shoot you. They're your friends. And so that happens. Now, when a second group goes rogue and they try to help you, that's where you start to go into the gray area where things are getting a little sketchy. And I don't love that, but at the same time, I don't mind when people do it. I mean, yes, it's annoying and it's, it's kind of fun to say, oh, they're multi-grouping. You need eight people to fight us, but... Honestly, it doesn't bug me. It's, uh, you know, when you're rogue and you're manhunt, you end up fighting the whole server, which is a bunch of people. That's way more than one team. And basically, all you're doing is flipping the numbers. You're making the rogues outnumber the non-rogues. And it's, is it a little unfair? Yes. Is it pretty unethical? Yes. Um, do I do it? Hell no. Uh, I don't multi-group. I think that not only is it gross and unethical, but it's really difficult. I... I remember the one time I multi-grouped was, uh, I believe it was 1.7, and it's difficult. You can't combat medic, you can't heal them, 
and you end up shooting them and killing people that you're, uh, I guess, multi-grouping with. And uh, that's really my only multi-group experience. I try not to do it at all because uh, I just... It doesn't feel like it gives you an advantage, and you feel kind of like a scumbag. Now, um, essentially, multi-groups, not a huge issue to me, but they exist, and people do it. Now, watch this little thing here. I don't know how I sensed that. That was some spidey senses that this man went rogue behind me. But uh, either way, I just, I, I don't get it. I mean, maybe you guys have a little more insight than I do, but I think that the trash talk just is stupid, and you shouldn't do it. Um, I think that, yes, people play dirty, yes, people might beat you, but you have to remember, every situation in the division is different, and not everyone is going to be better in every situation. 1v1s don't even really prove anything anymore. I know people like to think that, and yes, I'll 1v people for fun, but I'm never going to think to myself, I'm better than that person after I beat them. They could have any number of factors that affected their gameplay, and I could have had any that affected mine. So, I don't think 1v1s prove much. I don't think that the toxicity is a good culture. I think, honestly, just try to be nicer to people and see where it takes you. See if it changes anything, and I don't know. Maybe we could change the DZ, guys. Good luck. But uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a little bit different video, but I'll be back to the normal stuff tomorrow. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments.